Right. So if you have read and understood, considering eight procedural skills station, kindly tell me. How would you sit up? Ma'am, I will enter the room. Yes. I will enter the room. I will wash my hand. I will introduce myself. My uh, I am Dr. Kuldi, one of the surgical candidate. Uh, uh, today, I, uh, uh, I will uh, I will ask the I will confirm the name and age of the patient. May yes. I know your name and date of birth, please? Uh, I will ask the name and date of birth of oh, the patient. Then I will. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, hello, Thomas. Uh, today I will ask to uh, suture your wound. I will explain the patient in my uh, in the layman language. Uh, you have a wound or uh, a wound over your thigh, which we need to clean up and we need to suture it up uh, for better healing. And then I will ask the patient to get get a um, uh, get a signature, uh, get a consent form signed. And uh, I will explain the risk factor as well as everything to the patient in that consent form. And then I will I will ask uh, I will check for the WHO checklist. I will check for the uh, uh, in the consent whether it is mentioned right right thigh uh, patient name as well as I will ask the patient for drug allergies. Do you have any allergy okay. to uh, any lignocaine, any latex, or any uh, iodine? Iodine. No. What else would you perform at this point? I will. Uh, I will ask the patient for tetna, his Very tetanus, talk, yes. tetanus status. Good. Good. I will ask. I will ask the consultant for a X-ray to look for any foreign yes. body, and I, I will ask the patient. Uh, I will ask for the allergies. Uh, if the patient uh, gives a consent, then we will proceed. I will. Uh, I will ask the assistant for the uh, equipments. I will ask the assistant for all the equipment. I need a suture, which is a uh, uh, non-absorbable. Non-absorbable, non-absorbable. First, you suture. make sure who uh, will be will... who will be assisting you. So most likely, examiner will volunteer uh, that he will. He will be your assistant. Then, okay, ma'am. Yes, equipment. Okay, ma'am. I then uh, uh, I will look for. I need. Uh, I need a uh, local anesthetic. I will check for the expiry of that local anesthetic. Before that, and I will. Uh, sterile I will, gowns uh, and gloves. Blanks yes, uh, yes. I need. Uh, I will need my all equipments, all necessary tray. I, I will arrange all the necessary tray, and I will. Uh, I will clean. Uh, I will now. Um, I will clean my hand. I will put the sterile gloves with non-touch, non-touch technique. I will arrange my all the instruments, and I will. Uh, I will ask the patient. Uh, I will give you a local anesthetic. To numb your local uh, local area, I will use lignocaine. I will ask the sister or assistant to show me the expiry date of that lignocaine. I will take a needle. Uh, I will take twenty one gauge needle. I will take a one percent lignocaine. That is thirty milligram per kg. Uh, um, if we are using without ADR, if we are using with ADR, it is seven milligram per kg. Then I will take the requirement of lignocaine. I will ask the patient. I will uh, sensitize. I will try to give the local anesthetic. To your wounds, to so that your wound, local area will become numb. Then, uh, then I will uh, slowly I will uh, inject the needle uh, in subcutaneous tissue. Then withdraw the, the plunger to look whether I am inserting into the vein or not. Uh, then I will slowly sensitize the area. I will ask the patient. I will ask the examiner. I will wait for five, three to five minutes to have the effect of the local anesthetic, and then How I will pinch confirm? with the yes. Then yes. I, with the pin with the forcep, ma'am, I will touch the area. I will ask the patient. It will, you will feel it, but you will not feel the pain. If the if the uh, patient said it is okay and, and uh, he's not feeling any pain, then I will proceed with the suturing. As it is, ma'am, uneven uneven wound. I will debride the local tissue. I will wash the tissue. I will wash the wound. I will debride the what tissue. Would you, I will what would convert into the surgical the, wound. What would you use to wash your wash the wounds? Ma'am, I will use normal saline, ma'am. Yes. I will use yes. normal saline. I I can use uh, hydrogen peroxide, ma'am, to remove the foreign body. I will wash the wound. Uh, copious irrigation will be done. I will uh, debride the wound margins, and then I will convert it into the uh, surgical wound. Then I will yes. start with interrupted sutures because I am uh, expecting a contaminated wound. I will use the interrupted sutures, ma'am. And uh, uh, along with when I will done with that, I will I will dress it up. I will ask the patient to uh, as it is a I, it is an infected wound. I will need to give you one shot of antibiotic, and okay. I will apply a dressing to you. You can come to visit me within a one day week for suture removal. And uh, if there is any increase in foul increase in discharge, if you have a systemic What feature like fever, what suture would you use for suturing the wound? Ma'am, I will use non-absorbable uh, yes. braided suture.
non absorbable yes. braided yes. suture nylon ma'am yes. and uh, ma'am i will ask, uh, i will explain the warning sign to the patient like uh, if you have a systemic which are like fever anything uh, if you have a uh, foul smelling discharge from the wound if you have a bleeding from the wound if you have any of the these feature you come uh, to visit me asap or your uh, your gp ma'am i will thank you the patient i will discard the all all the sharp uh, before that ma'am i will discard all the sharps in the sharp and non sharp into the uh, uh, non sharp uh, dust bins ma'am yes accordingly all right can you okay. please tell me according to the anatomical location of different bones what would be the suture size that you'll uh, use and what would uh, be the, the time when you'll be removing the sutures like face Ma'am, ma'am, ma for the ma'am, ma'am, for the face, ma'am, uh, we can use ma'am, uh, five zero or six zero, ma'am, okay. and uh, it will be it will be removed within uh, three to four days, ma'am. And for the limb, ma'am, for the limb we use, ma'am, we can use uh, two zero or or one zero. It yes. will be removed within one one week, ma'am. For the back, ma'am, we. Yes. One week, ma'am. For the back, ma'am, we can use one uh, one zero, and it can be removed in ten days, ten to twelve days, ma'am. And for the scalp. Ma'am, for the scalp, we can use two uh, two zero, or uh, it can also be removed in three to five days, ma'am. Okay. When uh, suturing the limb wounds, what is the extra thing, uh, extra measures that you will keep in your mind? Uh, ma'am, we need to look for the vasculature, ma'am. Uh, uh, we need to check for the distal pulsations. We need yes, to check for the X-ray to look for any it. foreign body. So, what local yes, anesthetics would you not? Ma'am, we will. We will not use any local anesthetic containing ADR, adrenaline, ma'am, adrenaline. because if this is end art, end artery, it can lead to ischemic injury, ma'am. Okay, if uh, the patient just suppose this your patient comes back after two days and has a uh, blood through the dressing and uh, wound is uh, mal odor, and there'll be. Uh, Patient has fever, amylase, and nausea. So, what would you advise to the patient? Ma'am, uh, I will thoroughly debride. Uh, I will. Uh, I will remove, remove the suture, ma'am. Yes. I will remove the interrupter suture. Immediately. Yes. I will immediately remove the interrupter suture. I will. Uh, I will explore the wound again. I will copiously uh, irrigate the wound. Before that, I will take a biopsy. I will take the swab, ma'am, for microbial. Uh, uh, microbial investigation and uh, we will start the uh, patient on uh, IV antibiotic. This wound and was we will, on we the might thigh. Uh, did you or did you not use uh, lignocaine with any adrenaline or just simple? Ma'am, uh, for thigh wound, we can use that, ma'am, with ADR, ma'am. Uh, how much would be the dose now once you are using adrenaline? 7 milligram per kg, ma'am. Okay, what is the mechanism of action of this local anesthetic? Ma'am, uh, local anesthetic block the sodium channel that uh, will help block the depolarization de of the okay. muscle uh, nerves, ma'am. Okay, which antibiotic would you give, and how frequently would you? Ma'am, I will give that. Ma'am, uh, I will give just just one single dose, ma'am. Because yes. I am thoroughly debriding it and converting it to the surgical wound, and I will give that drug according to local hospital uh, policy, ma'am. Trust policy. Good. According to trust policy, very good. Okay, good. It was totally hundred percent random. Very good.